Um, take the day. We've had 27 artists working in the galleries and at this point about 850 people through which as far as I know is a record for an event in the Visual Arts Center so we couldn't ask for anything more really. How did it go? Were there were they asking questions and interacting? Um, a, there was a lot of interaction. I think that I need to talk to all of the artists after the event and find out more of the kind of questions that were coming towards them. But um, a lot of families, a lot of people of different ages, um, and just a constant flow of traffic through the whole day, beginning at 10 in the morning, really. Um, I kind of expected people maybe would come later on, but we've had solid traffic throughout the whole day, and it's just been building. So, um, And we're just starting the reception right now, so who knows how many more people will show up. Why do something like this? What was the point of all of this? Um, there, I think there is a real, well, and the fact that so many people have come out proves it. There's a real uh, disconnect between artists and the public. You see their work in galleries or museums, and um, there's so many questions you could ask the artists. and. So people came out to do that today, and this was a great opportunity for people to do that. It's proven to be that. So how did it go today? Oh, it was a little stressful at the beginning, because people were watching, like standing right there watching. It was a little creepy. <laughs> you don't usually work that way? No, no. I'm one of those, lock my door, don't want anybody to bother me, don't even talk to me. So <laughs> it's quite a departure from the normal way that I work. It, you know, it was great. Uh, the only part that I felt bad is because I was so involved in this that I couldn't really spend the time that I you know, would have wanted to with people and they were really inquisitive and asked great questions. So, you know, it's always great when you have that kind of energy within, you know, an exhibition like this. So, yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. So, TJ and Justin, the organizers of this event, and Jody, uh, you know, big thank you to them. It was a great event. So we're seeing some examples of finished work over here, right? Sure, yeah. Uh, this was a music video I just recently did in July for the band Flyleaf. Um, and then the other piece that's playing is my uh, thesis uh, video of the MFA program at UCLA. What, was it weird to have people watching you all day here working? Well, not really. Uh, you know, when I'm teaching at USD, I have a lot of demos that I'll do for students. And you know, uh, then when the class demo's done, I'll keep painting after class and they can walk by and see what I'm doing because I want to finish some of those paintings. Uh, but, you know, we only have like a roughly an eight or nine hour period to paint in. And, uh, you know, actually, I don't mind being able to do a painting in that time because it makes you be decisive. You know, you can't sit there and just cogitate on the painting forever. You know, which any of us can do. And, you know, if we're smart, we try not to. But even then, there's those moments when you just have to sit there and stare at the painting for a long time before it really says what you Because it'll talk to you and you can talk to it. And sometimes you stare at it forever before it says what it, what it wants you to do. And then you start it and then you have to tell the painting what to do. And then, you know, the conversation between you and the painting goes back and forth. You think you'll do it again? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's just been a hit all around, so um, we're for sure we'll repeat it again, and it'll probably grow um, for sure next year. I think September, October. We've kind of already looked at a time frame for it, and we'll probably double. Maybe the artists a little less than double. Um, it may grow into something even bigger. If because if people want to know more about what's happening in the arts, then we will be here to tell them. This was free, right? Yeah, yep, free for the public to come through all day and check the progress out and ask questions. Um, we also have silent auction for the works that are there, so people can bid on them and purchase them. Um, but they're free to come and enjoy. What happens to the artwork now? Um, the artwork will come down after tonight. We'll take it up to another smaller gallery, and we will hang a show basically next week of the works that were made, and that will be up for about eight weeks, so people can come and see um, what happened today at least the fruits of the labors, um, the end product, um, and then hopefully maybe we'll have some information there about when it'll happen next year too, so people can look for that. The silent auction means that people will then go home with the art, and how does the money yes. split on that? Um, it's a 50-50 split, so it's a fundraiser for us, but it's also kind of um, along the lines of what you'll find in most commercial galleries, so the artists also get it make some money for the work they put into it, which we're really thrilled about, and they are too, so happy to have it.